What is destructuring in ES6? Destructuring is a way of extracting values into variables from data stored in objects and arrays. So let's imagine we have an object like so. It has three properties, first, last, and age. So we want to extract the first and last properties into local variables. Prior to ES6, we would have had to write something like this. So we've extracted the first property from object and we've stored it on a constant F. The last, we've stored it on a constant L. And then we're printing both of those out. And we can see in the console that that's working. We're seeing Asim and Hussein printed out. But with destructuring, which is a feature of ES6, we can do so in one line, like so. Let me comment this. So there you go, we can see Asim and Hussein getting printed in the console again. So the syntax here, this curly braces, this thing that looks like an object, this describes a pattern, a set of rules for how we want to destructure an object. So if we wrote something like this, this translates to extract the property first from the object and store in a constant called f. And when you provide multiple patterns, then multiple times. So this also extracts the last property and stores it in a variable in a constant called l. So if we wanted to extract the properties into variables with the same name as the property, we could write it like so. So we could just type first, last, first, last. And there, that's working again. So we see Asim Hussein getting printed out in the console. But this use case of extracting properties into variables with the same name is so common that we have a shortcut with destructuring. So we can just remove this colon name and just shorten it to const first, comma last is equal to object. And then if I clear the console and run it again, you can see it's working just as before. So array destructuring works in a similar way, except it extracts based on the index in the array. So like so. And there we go. So this is saying, take the first item of the array and store it in a variable called X, take the second item in the array and store it in a variable called Y. And then we're just printing both of those out. And that's why we see A and B being printed on the screen. So one really useful use case for destructuring is in function parameters. So typically, if we want to pass multiple parameters to a function with maybe some optional parameters, we would pass it in as an object like so. So now we call the function f, we pass in an, in an object with x as 1. And then in the function body, we're just printing the value, the property of x on the object passed in. And that's why we see 1 printed to the console. And this then makes it easy to pass multiple parameters. But now we can define the function parameter list as an object destructure pattern like so. So instead of options, we can just say curly braces x. This is a destructure pattern. And then we can just refer to x in the body of our function like so. And one gets printed out just like before. In addition to that, when using destructured function parameters, we can also provide default values. So in our destructure pattern here, we've got x, we can just say x is 0. So now if we don't provide any value for x, it won't cause an error, it will just default the value of x to 0. And we see 0 printed to the console. So in summary, destructuring is a useful feature of ES6, 
With it, we can extract values from objects and arrays with ease. Through function parameter destructuring, we now have a built-in syntax for providing optional parameters to functions, including giving them default values if none are provided. 